Working from home during pandemic times can be as stressful as physically working at the office sometimes as there is no one to talk to or ask for if immediate assistance is needed. Hi, my name is Samuel and today I'm going to talk about three handy desktop tools or programs that will help you while working from home. Comparing to real life sticky notes, it works as one that sticks on your desktop virtually which is super visible for those who forget things easily or just wants to accomplish something in order. On the dashboard, it shows the notes that are created, starting with the latest on the top to the oldest at the bottom. If you accidentally close a note that was open, it doesn't just delete it so you don't have to worry about it. If you really want to delete it, you can hold to that note and click on the ellipsis to delete the note. You can create new sticky notes with the plus button. You can customize the color. You can resize it to however you want. And you can write anything that you would like to. There's a toolbar at the bottom to do some text formatting, like you can bolden the word or you can italicize the word. You can underline the word or you can strike through task or word. There's also even an option to create bullets which is helpful to write a lot of tasks and you can even insert images. Microsoft Whiteboard is an app that can be downloaded for free from the Microsoft Store. It is a free collaboration software with synchronizing function across login devices that can be used for like brainstorming or for discussion among classmates or colleagues, especially during times like this when students and employees are advised to study or work from home. Like the name itself, it's a big blank whiteboard that you can draw, insert text, pictures and add on many other things. It has a feature called Ink to Shape. When turned on, it's able to convert drawings of circle, rectangle, square and triangle into more proper shapes. There's a ruler provided to draw straight lines. The angles can be adjusted by, by scrolling up or down the view while hovering over the ruler. In the insert menu, there are other add-ons that can be pasted on the board such as a note grip where you can type in anything on it. You can also add on a list where you can write down whatever that needs to be done for today. A follow-up list where you assign something for someone so you can add on who are you assigning it to depending like who is on who is invited to your whiteboard. And finally, a template where there are pre-made templates where Microsoft has already done, so you can just add on the things that you want to. And of course, since it's a collaboration software, you can invite others to contribute and make changes that will show up in everyone's account by clicking on the Add button. You just have to turn on the web sharing link and share the link to others. Finally, we have an external desktop tool that is not only helpful for IT personnel but also to the public and that is the remote desktop application AnyDesk. This application allows users to assist each other remotely. Since not every company has IT personnel to do troubleshooting remotely, colleague or supervisor assist one another just like when they are at the office on issues such as Excel Word or application like accounting system, payroll system, or a database system. AnyDesk also supports file transfer among connected devices. Here's my desk address, which can be used by others if they need access to my PC remotely. To control someone's PC, you can enter their address into this empty bar here. Below here are the sessions that you have connected before. 
Before permitting access to your PC or controlling someone's PC, permissions can be pre-selected to restrict control such as muting the sound, allow to take control, allow to use copy and paste to, for example, clipboard, and many more. We are going to use this user as our remote session example for today. So now we are requesting the user to accept. And now the user has accepted. You can check with the remote user if the environment isn't suitable for talking. So we can say hello. And the remote user will say hi back to us. And besides that, there are other functions and actions that can be used as well. Screen recording is also available as well. Any desk supports multiple connections by clicking on this PC icon to proceed. So you can add, maybe you can disconnect to this new remote user for a second session. To exit the session, the remote user can either disconnect themselves through here this button or you can just click on the X button right here to close the session. That's all from me today. Thanks for watching.